how's it going everybody well since our relative is now actually really selling out in the spring uh everything else is kind of on hold i cannot unload this properly um i gotta get the front clip off i gotta get the cab unbolted there's quite a few things i need to do i need to build a pallet so that way i can get the cab off fully by the a-frame a lot of stuff to do because uh you know this is for the for our late father's uh pickup right there that someone tried to kill him back in 2004 by running him off the road so there's just a lot of stuff to be done on this i'm not sure what to fully expect because uh first time ever messing with a bull nose and the reason why they call them bull noses is well this spot right here the flat flat side but i'm gonna have to see what happens was well, gonna start this up but this has to come off the trailer so in the spring uh we'll macgyver something up while keeping the 6.9 liter on the on the frame and start it up that way yeah great here comes the wind this might take me a couple weeks to do but uh yeah you have to see what happens Eh, I'll record the progress as I go along, so I don't know when this video is going to come out. But already, enough Gavin, time for work. So all of you probably saw the, the short some time ago. I don't know when this video is going to get uploaded. But uh, tearing this apart, moving some things. And uh, I must have had some wetness or something on me. And it actually bit me. Listen to this. These batteries were supposed to be dead. And this was not supposed to do that. This was supposed to have some issues going on. Because, uh, yeah. I mean, didn't leave no markings. Actually, yeah, right there it did. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. Bit me pretty hard. I don't blame it. I mean, it got cut in half. So I'm going to wait till Tucker gets home because he knows how to mess with these diesels more than I do. Alright, one sound warning. One fender is off. Many more bolts to go. Uh, don't know how this wiring fiasco is going to be, but there's a lot of stuff. We've got to disconnect, or at least he's going to disconnect. Yeah, uh, a lot of stuff's added. That red wire right there because we're comparing some stuff from this to dad's and uh yeah there's more stuff on this but it looks like the guy cobbled a lot of stuff on this there's a lot of stuff cobbled there's a lot of wires that we have in place anyways so i see a lot of air yeah it's uh kind of a fire hazard we were gonna uh, we thought about starting it up but when we saw the wiring harness and everything it's like nah it uh too risky way too risky because who knows what'll happen. I know there's uh, no fuel and stuff like that, but you know, with the grease and whatever fuel is left over and stuff like that, so we I mean, better safe than sorry. So, because the object is take the fenders off, take everything off right here from the cab, loosen up the cab, the four speed uh, stick needs to come out, and then loosen up the bolts on the cab, and uh, then raise it up, pull the trailer out, lower it down, and then. Can I get this at a spot where we can get out of the way? Because this is going to be for the 4041 uh, over 4 project, the 6.9 liter. And uh, find a spot to slap this down, cover it up, and kind of go from there. We're kind of hoping to get this off this Saturday. So I don't know when I'm going to upload this video. Because uh, we're just kind of going by stuff here. Because I got to put this down and start working on the other fender now. Because he finished up some stuff there. Because I had to go inside to do some things. But all in all, I mean, small progress in tearing this apart. And you'd think that that fender wasn't that bad, but it's actually chunky. Also learning stuff on how to, you know, tear stuff apart, tear that apart, and eventually the '84 uh, Bronco XL once I get it home. So, of course, wind sound warning like usual. Uh, we're going to try to get this off at least today or tomorrow so we can get the rest of the vehicles hauled because this is the only thing that's really holding us up. Separated the cab wasn't too bad. Two bolts were holding it on because 
our relative cut it up so far um a few odds and ends here and there to really get so and we got the a-frame we're gonna have to put this together and then put a system underneath with some ropes and hoist it up pull the trailer out hoist it down put on some pallets walk it back and then get that front off and then uh Gotta go over to a relative's place and pick up some more tires because, yeah, I think next year, sometime late next year, we're gonna, I, I think we're gonna put normal uh, uh, trailer axles on this instead of those house ones. I mean, they're getting the job done, but uh, these tires are, yeah, just not the fan of them. But, anyways, I'm gonna see about loosening up a few more things and also to testing out these winter gloves see if they at least help out but yeah other than that it's, it's just a slow process and honesty and yeah, a lot of electronics and the guy well he cobbled a lot of stuff so we cut whatever was left over of the wiring harness because there's a lot of bare wires a lot of stuff that's you know spliced together which is dangerous and as a kind of go back around here uh yeah right here is one of the bigger wires that he used or whoever it was because this also doesn't have an original um fuse box in it it's got one that's put in it um let's see here yeah red wires i showed in one uh short they're pretty much well they were everywhere so cut a lot of them out so this entire thing needs a new wiring harness uh we're probably just going to be careful with that one right there replace whatever's bad from sitting for a while and then put it over to this so we'll just have to see and what happens yeah another thing too i don't know i can't remember if i ever mentioned it or not but the heater core he had it disconnected and he had three electrical heaters inside the cab so uh yeah I mean, it was working for a while, I suppose, but, uh, but then he did this uh, odd job of the of the wiring and all that. This is not original by any means. At least once we get it off and stuff situated, uh, right there it's a 6.9 liter. That's going to be for the 4041. Still don't know if it's a, either a one and a half or a two ton. I got still got to run the numbers. I did a while back. Excuse me. I did run the numbers, but I forgot what they were because uh, was so gosh darn busy that year. So, well, not that year. Well, earlier in the year. There we go. <laughs> uh, a lot of stuff's going on. But anyways, yeah. Just uh, have to see it on what happens today.
that uh, that pretty much does it let's see if I can get this off the, the deal here with these gloves there we go well that pretty much does it gonna get the tires off and then uh, set it on down I uh, I gotta get the floor jack over there back to the pickup but we'll worry about some of this stuff later yeah, it's still a mess but uh yeah, there we go 6.9 for the 4041 4x4 uh everything else for for that so and it's getting pretty cold out here too uh, well want to add anything not really uh, it's just it cold. interesting getting them off we yeah you're frame yeah it's about a good foot shorter than the trailer so I gotta get creative yeah it's not the worst but it's this is getting the job done so alrighty so on that note should bid you all to do I'll upload this sometime in the week because it'll be the Impala video which all of you have probably seen already so catch y'all later. Have a good now. Take care and stay safe. See you later. Stay warm. Oh my gosh. Stay warm. Well, so far so good. We don't think nothing's going to happen, but uh, we're kind of discussing that. We're thinking that the 4041 kind of finished off the trailer in certain ways. <laughs> so uh, took the axles off for no reason off the other one. No big deal to put them back on, but... Um, can't fit. Yeah. Wouldn't fit. It's uh, too wide.